Hey YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 22 and in this tutorial I'm just going to show you guys how to use child selectors to style e elements on your web page so what we can do now is we've got a blank web page at the moment so we have to give our web page some content so let's just go ahead and add in a div just like that and inside this div let's go ahead and put in three paragraphs so our first paragraph can be okay well let's go ahead and actually make our first paragraph first and I might as well just copy this along and our first paragraph can probably just you know have some content of Billy we'll just give them all some names and oh, Barbie and the next one can be uh, blue that is some alliteration I have going on there okay and now what we can do is just outside here we can just call these ones uh, Tom and Richard and uh, what is this Harry okay cool so now we've got six paragraphs on our web page. We've got three inside of a div and we've just got three normal ones. But let's go ahead and focus on these three inside the div really quick. And the reason why I put them inside a div is because we're using child selectors. So we need to have some child elements. And if you take a look at these three paragraphs, you'll see that they're all nice and neatly nested inside this div over here. Uh, so we can go ahead and give this div a class and we can call this class mom because these three paragraphs are all children of this div which I have now called mom okay so those are the paragraphs that we're going to want to style now so let's go ahead and save this and go to our CSS over here and you guys know that if you went ahead and you just selected the P element like that we're gonna land up styling all six elements or six um, paragraph elements on our web page so instead of just going ahead and selecting only that P we can go ahead and select div and then we can go ahead and leave a space and then select our paragraph and what this is gonna do is it's gonna select all paragraphs that are children of a div tag so that's what we've got here. We've got three paragraphs that are children of this div tag. So let's go ahead and style those paragraphs really quick. And what we can do is, you know, just something simple. Change the color to red. And now we can go ahead and save this. And if you run this in Firefox, you'll then, whoops. Okay, I'm in my CSS sheet. Go back to my HTML, run in Firefox you should get three paragraphs that are red and three that are black and that's because our children elements have now been styled with our child selector over here but I guess this probably isn't really the best way to go ahead and use a child selector on your web page because if you go back to your HTML over here and you decided okay well I actually really wanted these paragraphs over here to be inside a div tag and maybe you call this div tag uh, dad and you ended off your div tag over there and let's just go ahead and indent these so that it looks nice nice and neat and tidy um, and then we go ahead and refresh in Firefox now watch what happens when I refresh you, you'll see that these paragraphs are probably gonna turn or they're going to turn red and you might have done this uh, by accident and you maybe you actually wanted these paragraphs to be red and these ones still to be black um, what you can then do is just use classes and a child selector so instead of selecting all paragraphs that are children of a div tag you could select all paragraphs that are children of the class mom so in order to do that you obviously just put full stop to get your class and we'll get the class mom 
and all children of all paragraphs that are children of mom that's what we wanted to style and when we go back to Firefox and we click refresh you'll see that we now still have only these three paragraphs red and those three are still black so that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.